Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a good day. I just want to start off this video by saying that I'm so annoyed at myself for the fact that I missed um, Mental Health Awareness Day last, I think it was Thursday the 11th, a few days ago. And I'm so annoyed because I only found out on the day and I was like, I would have loved to have a video up and running to go live on that day just to... Sorry, I'm probably going to be yawny. I'm having a really tired day. That's why I'm lying in bed right now. I have my twinkly lights on. And my lamp. I have a headache and I've been feeling... I felt good. Oh, I've got a yawn again. Why is it when I pull out the camera I start yawning? I literally wasn't yawning like five minutes ago maybe it's because i'm using up all my energy trying to talk and do this video but anyway i want to do it so that's what i'm doing even though mental health awareness day was last thursday and i missed it because i'm always behind let's just face it let's just make a video today on mental health awareness Let's just do it on a random day because I missed the actual day. So let's just make our own. So today is Leanne's Mental Health Awareness Day. So happy Mental Health Day to you <laughs> from me. Maybe I'll just update you on my situation with my mental health, will I? I suppose so. Let's spread some awareness. I'll just have to edit out all the ons because this is getting ridiculous. Okay, as of now... Well, no, I was okay this morning, I feel. I feel like maybe it was just in the last... Like, before dinner, I just started getting a headache and feeling very, like... I don't know, tired, fatigued. I had a headache that was kind of like a stingy, uncomfortable one where you're just like, oh my god, ow. I thought maybe I was just dehydrated, so I was drinking lots of water. Still wasn't going away, but I didn't want to take a painkiller, so I came upstairs and just lied in my bed for a while. But then dinner was ready, so I went down, ate dinner, and then came back upstairs with a green tea. Which I still actually have to drink, by the way, so I say it'd be cooled down by now. But yeah, I'm just giving myself, like, five minutes of me time. Even though I've easily been up here for, like, an hour or two. But you know what I mean? Kind of like 15 minutes of fame. Everybody wants your 15 minutes of fame. I want my 15 minutes of me time. <laughs> yeah. I think it's very important for your mental health just to always have me time. At least, as I said, just have 15 minutes of me time. With a cup of tea. Or catch up on some reading. Or, I don't know, do something that makes you happy. And you that you genuinely like doing. Start journaling. I've tried to start journaling. I keep like a little diary. And just like write down little, little to-do lists and things to like keep me productive throughout the day or things that I want to get done so I, to make myself feel better. Or even just silly things like try and drink more water today or like have a bath, treat yourself, do a face mask, go for a walk. Like even silly things, like anything that makes you feel better. Like I think that's a good idea. Mm. I haven't been working out like the past week or was it? No, a week, I think. Yeah. Haven't been on the bandwagon. Because just since Natalie came home, I felt bad working out because she struggled to even do basic things. Never mind even working out. She still struggles to go for, like, long walks and stuff. So, like, the last thing I want to be doing around her is, like, working out and doing, like, weights and stuff when she's just sitting there, like, yeah, I can't do that anytime soon. So, I don't know, but maybe I should just start doing it even in my room or something. When she's watching something downstairs. But, I don't know, I feel like I'm just making excuses. Like, I should just be working out, so just do it kind of thing. So, yeah, that's my own fault. Oh, yeah, maybe I should say, like, for anybody that doesn't know, I suffer with anxiety and depression, and I get really bad panic attacks. In situations that I'm not comfortable in or if I get really stressed out or if I get really upset about something It's just not fun But I'm aware of it now and I know How to like help myself as much as I can But still obviously there's only so much I can do because I'm human and I can't control like my whole body 
oh, and sometimes your mind is actually even power more powerful than your whole body, which is kind of annoying, but that's just what we gotta deal with as humans. It's a learning day every day. I haven't been depressed for the past while, but I would say the past maybe week. Week? Would it be a week? I've been feeling depressed again. Yeah, because I think it was last Monday that I had a really bad day and I broke down and I was just crying. Sorry, my hand is starting to shake. And I was crying to my mom and my sister about it. And my mom was like, why don't you make an appointment to see the doctor and just like tell, tell them how you've been feeling. Maybe they'd be able to advise you on something to do for it. So I think I might do that. I think I might make an appointment to see my doctor and just tell her how I've been feeling. Literally, there's no point suffering alone. So she'll be able to guide me in whatever services they have to help. I might as well while they're there. If you suffer with a mental illness, please message me or DM me on Instagram or Twitter. If you ever feel like you need someone to talk to, I'm always here. My DMs are always open. I always check my um, my message requests all the time and answer to every single mail I get. So hit me up, slide into my DMs if you want to chat about life mental illness, anxiety, depression, panic attacks, even you just want to talk about your favourite YouTuber, how much you love my channel. <laughs> Seriously, slide into my messages and I will reply. I promise if you need me, I'm happy to be there for you. And maybe you'll be there for me too when I'm having shit days like today. It can be a two-way street. We can literally, all we can do is help each other and try and do our best. Should I go in more depth about my story? Like, I, I think, I know I have a few previous videos on, like, my mental health and stuff. But I feel like there were, actually, that was a while ago. I, I haven't done any recently. Probably because, like, for the most part, I have been better in myself. And honestly, it's probably all thanks to YouTube. Because I feel like I have an outlet for, like, my feelings and my, I don't know. It's a way to be creative, it's a distraction, it's something to take my mind off, everything, and it's just really good. And I've been meeting so many people who, I don't know, who get me, you know? So yeah, that's a good time. I've had anxiety for as long as I can remember. As long as I can remember. And I've been getting panic attacks for as long as I can remember as well. I remember my first bad panic attack was when I was 13. That would have been, because I'm, I'm 23 now. So that was literally 10 years ago. Right around puberty hit and all the freaking hor- all my hormones and my chemicals and whatever the hell floats around your body went crazy and graced me with this. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> but yeah, so I've had anxiety for as long as I can remember and then I just get depressed. I won't say really easily. I don't get depressed easily. It's just that when I do get upset like a normal, like when I do get upset or down the way any other person would, it just kind of hits me that bit harder. Oh, sorry, my hand is shaking. Can you see that? Oh my God, it's really bad. Let me hold the camera this way. Oh, I have a cramp in my hand. The claw. <laughs> the claw. Okay, um... What was I talking about? I was... This is not a good angle at all. Do you like my pink top? Look, it's from the Truth About Love tour. It That was in 2013, isn't that crazy? Like what? What was I talking about before I distract myself? Rude. First panic attack that I can remember when I was 13. Suffered with it really badly. Panic attacks like all the time then I got to the age of like 15 15 or 16 and I dropped out of secondary school it just wasn't a good time wasn't able for it stupid shit was happening in the school I don't do well academically so I wasn't confident in school at all. 
didn't know what the hell I wanted to do with my life and I had panic attacks every day going to school so I was like this is not worth it and just in case I thought it was the school then I went to I moved to another secondary school anyway long story short I was still getting panic attacks I was still the exact same nothing changed dropped out of that school then I my dad showed me a hairdressing course in a town nearby and I did that and I got a VTAC level 5 in hairdressing didn't have the confidence to continue doing hairdressing so yeah then I realized I could go to like a further education college like an IT so my sister Natalie was doing a music course and I was like I love music so let's do that that should be fun thinking I'd be able to do it because I love music so that that should be enough went to college um and it was good but once again I suck at academics I go blank in tests my mind goes blank because it just doesn't want to cooperate and yeah that wasn't like the whole college thing and there just was not for me so left after the first year then what did I do what did I do after college oh I worked in a little office in my town for a year that was actually really fun but it was only for a year so like I had to go I didn't leave there like I had to go Um. Then I worked in McDonald's for eight months. Yeah, eight months. But anybody who works in McDonald's know how, knows how stressful of a job that is. So honestly, I'm surprised I even lasted eight months. After McDonald's, I think I, I worked in Super Value. But that didn't last long. I think that lasted like two months. Because that was the first time I went back to work after a good few months off from McDonald's. Because that just like, that just put me back to fucking square one with my mental health. That was fucking awful. But yeah, I went to Super Value, thought I could do it all over again. Only lasted like two two months there. Got us another job closer to home. Only lasted a week there. And now here I am. I literally can't keep a job due to my mental health so that's fun but anyway you gotta do what you gotta do so YouTube is literally the only thing I got going for me right now so I'd appreciate if you subscribe <laughs> like my videos subscribe to my channel please but obviously only if you want to so yeah, YouTube is my baby as of now. It's what I want to do. It's literally all I'm good at because I can't keep a normal job because I'm not normal. End of story. Let me know in the comments any videos you want to see me do. Any tips or tricks for anxiety or depression or panic attacks. If you suffer, hit me up. I'd love to know some tips. Hopefully I helped someone or at least just let one or two people feel like they aren't alone. Because... I'm not much help today to anybody so that's why I'm just resting and trying to take care of myself because I still have this whopping headache right here and it won't go away. So I apologise if I feel, sound like I'm in, I'm in a bad mood. I'm just not doing great today but I'm only human so that's all I can do. Take it day by day, do your thing, put your mental health first and that's it. Your mental health comes before your friends, your family your job like everything literally everything you have on your to-do list for today or tomorrow I bet it can wait like it doesn't have to be done tomorrow it doesn't have to be done this week even literally put your mental health first and I think that's the biggest piece of advice I have for you is take care of yourself have a bath watch your favorite movie take a sick day and just look after yourself that's all you can do Literally, if you don't have your men if you don't have your mental health or your health at all, like your mental health is just as important as your physical health. If you broke your arm, you wouldn't just keep on going to work just for the sake of it. Like you wouldn't say, "Oh, I'm grand." You'd take a few days off work because you broke your arm. So, like, if you're depressed, if you're anxious, take a day off work. Like, you're not well. You need the time. So, like, don't feel bad for 
looking after your mental health. It's just as important as your physical health. Like if you broke your leg or you twisted your ankle, you won't be going to work for a day. So it's not the end of the world if you have to take a sick day. Like, just put it into perspective. If someone else was in that situation, what would you tell them for advice? You'd just be like, ah, be grand. Like, you can take a day off. Look after yourself. Put yourself first. So take your own advice and put yourself first. You're number one, hon. You're number one. Anyway, I'm blabbing, so hopefully this video helped at least one person. I'd really appreciate it if you could like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Leave me a comment, say anything, comment a smiley face, comment anything. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Actually, I haven't said it in a while again. Stay happy, stay sassy, look after yourself, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.